Good evening from the Maple Leaf. Here is a look at this week's headlines. Glenn Miller has the night off. I'm Jamie Ward. A Middlefield Village man has been arrested for reportedly running a prostitution ring. 51-year-old David Lashane, who is also an Amish taxi driver, was using the website Backpage.com under the guise of erotic massages when his phone number was discovered by a police officer. And a week after her failed election attempt, former trustee Mary Briggs is back in the news. Clarendon Township officials are saying that her seven filed lawsuits in five years will increase the insurance premium of the township by 19% in 2012. Now let's go to Cassandra Shofar for a look at the weather. Hi, everybody. Uh, our weather forecast here on Chardon Square gives us a high of 38 and a low of 26. Normally we get in around 45 as a high and 37 as a low. And our records show that in 1911 we had a record high of 72 and in 1892 a record low of 6. Those records were totally guessed. Jamie. And now some good news. Kenston, West Geauga, and Chardon School Districts have been put in the top 100. That's where they're ranked by the Ohio Department of Education. That is with 613 public school districts in the entire state of Ohio. And now, this weekend sports, back to Cassandra. The Chagrin Falls Tigers are playing in their third straight regional final after beating Ravenna 24-6 last Friday. The 12-0 Tigers take on St. Vincent St. Mary tomorrow night, which is the alma mater of LeBron James, who has been known to drop in with his entourage. Game time is at 7.30 p.m. in Bedford. Jamie? Thank you, Cassandra. And that wraps things up. Glenn Miller will be back next week. For all of us here at the Jaga County Maple Leaf and John Karlovic, I'm Jamie Ward. Have fun, Jaga County. I know I will.